Hey guys, your friendly neighbor gamer man here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please think about subscribing. Click the like button, set your notifications to on so you can join me again. So today we're going to talk about this little device here. This beautiful little device that brought a little life back into this awesome IRK cab. So yeah, cat's out of the bag. I did successfully do this mod. Was it easy? Um, I wouldn't go that far. The instructions are pretty easy, very straightforward, but no one can control the real world and what actually happens. The best laid plans, yeah, it looks so simple. I did it on my computer. One, two, three, everything was done. Why are you having trouble? Um, every computer's different. Every setup's a little different. And um, you might press the wrong button, do something wrong, and it might glitch out or nothing that you did or your internet. So the best advice that I can give you, go on the Discord, um, ask some questions. There, are, It's a great community. People are there to help, but don't give up. Try different things. Don't go crazy trying strange things that that are going to fry your system but don't give up everything is possible um there are certain things i've done on my arcades and my different pcs and, and raspberry Pis. some things have taken me three to six months even a year some things i forgot about because i just didn't learn a certain technique or i didn't know that an emulator could do something before i could get it done and uh some stuff I just forgot about or put it on the back burner stuff stuff some stuff wasn't my fault it was configured improperly and i had to fix it but anyway never give up at some point you can learn something new that'll jog something in your mind or a different way to do things that will help you finish that project anyway so huge shout out to a custom arcade and uh mystery encoder i actually can't believe that there's somebody out there who can make <laughs> this little contraption, this interface that fits perfectly into two spots on the IRK board and would do it for the community. I mean, this guy probably has the knowledge to build a freaking time machine and go, you know, adventure the world and live forever. I mean, this thing is amazing. And, you know, Mystery Encoder has done some incredible things for uh, the community. And, uh, you know, basically, brought joy to many people's lives and if you think about it you know not everybody can go out there and purchase everything you know they want or they need to make them happy and that's what it's about just you know to bring a little joy into somebody's life and that can trickle down into other things where they'll bring joy into somebody else's life and you just never know where this little thing that you did, this little pain, you know, paid for, this little good thing that you did that had nothing to do with anything major, but it could. You know, it's like a trickle down effect where there could have been a major catastrophe if somebody, you know, didn't have this in, in their life. I'm rambling on, but, you know, I think you get what I'm saying. It's, it's a good thing just to do things for other people, bring some joy into people's lives, help people. And that's, you know, that's kind of why I do this channel, you know, to give just little tips and hacks, but I'm not an expert at anything. I'm a guy who started like three, four years ago and I just persevered and was able to do a handful of things. So I try to teach you, you know, to show you some little hacks, show you things that are possible. Um, and I had no knowledge of anything before i started doing any of this so you know if you put your mind to it and just stay focused you know anything is possible don't be scared to do this stuff with that being said let's go into my video well you know what for those of you who don't want to stick around through the whole video if you don't need this um around i think the 14 15 minute mark i do the troubleshooting that i had to go through and i uh you know, I give you my tips and, um, you know, it could save you some time if you see the problems that I did have where it almost made me quit or put my head through the wall. 
but I didn't and it worked. If it works for you, one, two, three, without these problems, great. But if not, anything can be solved. So let me just show you a few games that I added here. And uh, I had this cool sticker. I actually had this and I just saw it from the corner of my eye. I had it in the stupid spot in a different arcade and it happened to fit perfectly on here. And yep, you guessed it. I added the game WrestleMania that I love. For me, all I wanted to do was put extra wrestling games on here, which I did. When Glenn's deck comes out that I pre-ordered, I'm going to connect that to a Batocera build that I have, which has a bunch of N64 wrestling games that I love, a couple of hacked N64 games, or they hacked or fan-made games. I think uh, some amazing PS1 wrestling games that I have, and I hear that his single board computer will run up to PS2 games. So there's some cool GameCube, uh, GameCube. it might not, it may. But there are some good wrestling GameCube and PS2 games, so I'm excited about that. And then eventually I'll delete anything else that's on here. There's not much, but it'll be all wrestling. Maybe one boxing game. <laughs> so, uh, WrestleFest, of course. Awesome playing WrestleFest on a wrestling cab. That's what I really wanted. Now, uh, let's go back here. And I put these all in the sports section because we know wrestling. Wrestling is a sport. It absolutely is. So, casino golf is not a sport, but okay. Mania Challenge, Matt Mania I already had. Retro Mania I had. So I added WrestleFest. That's the background that I picked. Look how awesome that looks. WrestleMania, which is my favorite wrestling game. That's arcade style wrestling game. Absolutely love it. And I added WWF Superstars. Now it's working on MAME 0 0.221. What you'll need to do is just go to the MAME website, download, it'll say like past, past MAMEs, don't download the newest one, download that one, 0 0.221, and you'll be able to test all the games, make sure they work. I tested another wrestling game that didn't work, so it saved me the trouble of putting it on here, and, and they're stuck once they're on here. So far, there's no way to delete them. So go on to that main download everything and then just google 0 0.221 main roms you'll find them or go, if you don't want to deal with any of that go into the discord group talk to them maybe there's people that already created some games that have the games that can pass them along to you but if not just do a little google search you'll find them pretty easy you download them test them in that make sure they work and um, the controls should work as long as the game is not too obscure with strange controls these are all straightforward all right so i'm going to do this real step by step so we logged on to the website teamencoder.com right here are all the different mods that they offer and we'll go mia mystery interstellar arcadian we'll click on that Let's see. And install the drivers. Let's see the requirements. So here's the note that we have to have the uh, USB enabler installed to utilize this mod. And there's instructions here at a custom arcade. So I think we can install all this software and then install that. It shouldn't need to be plugged in yet before we do a download, but let's read a little more and let's just see. So it says that you need 7-zip to, uh, to open some of these files, these zip files. So I went over here, just did a search for 7-zip and I believe it's just 7-zip.org and then you can download that. I didn't have it downloaded on this computer yet. So um, I think we can download everything that we need and uh, then we'll install the MIA board after we'll follow those instructions. So let's do that. So I moved my cabinet off the wall a bit. I have probably more wires than others because I have a lot of extra lighting connected to this and I have a HDMI cable coming out the back to this TV. That's my second monitor or second screen. So I'm gonna try to do this. I even have a little storage back there. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do this without 
you know, pulling anything apart too bad and forgetting what goes where, but the instructions are basically to unplug everything and um, to remove the back and then to remove these screws on the sides of the panel and I guess remove the panel. See that? So we're gonna do all that. And I think it's really important to unplug everything. Power, audio monitor, everything. So we'll do that now. Oh, and look what I found. Look what I found when I moved this arcade over. Little hidden treasure. This was in the back. I forgot I even had this here. So we have, how much is that? A million dollars? Jim Morrison, million dollars. And now this is only a dollar, but that's pretty cool. And Angus Young ACDC dollar. Why the heck did I have it hidden back there? I gotta put that out somewhere. All right, I unplugged all my wires mm -hmm. and I actually just screwed this back on with one one of these screws so um, so it's not just hanging off or on the floor or whatever. So, pretty easy. I'm just gonna unscrew this control panel now. All right, so we got our board off. And now it's telling us to turn four cam locks on the front and the back counterclockwise so the arrows face up and gently pull the control deck up. Easy enough. And then we need to find the two 10 pin headers on the IR Arcade main board. This is the location where you will install the team encoder, IR Arcade USB enabler. So let's match that up. I was good at the matching game when I was a kid, so I think I should be able to do that. So yeah, you'll notice right here, I've never opened this and this is funny. I haven't ever seen this, so my warranty is going to be voided. So let's see, I opened everything up, put it on the floor here, and I think this is a match. This is where it will go right here, right? Let's see, is that a match? Looks like it does. Let's get it on there. All right, so here we go. And wrap this thing. It's amazing how tiny this is when you see it you know in videos or whatever you think it's going to be this big um you know contraption like this thing but um yeah this little thing packs a big punch so let's see we'll just stick this in here let's match it up right Give it a little push, not too hard. There it is. Matches right up like a piece of Lego. And now um, it came with a uh, USB cable and it's set on the instructions to only use this one. A little weird. I was having problems, I guess, with other cables, but um, yeah, let's put that in and then go to the next step oh yeah and I saw online um, in the group some people were saying that this is going to block that player 2 joystick so they were finding um, like right angle connectors to put in here I think I'm not going to keep mine in um, I'm just doing this to back up the games and uh, maybe I'll add a few wrestling games or something but that's kind of all I'm interested in for now with this so I'll probably do that and then just pull this out for now and maybe I'll even move this to the other cabinet my other arcade add a few games on there but there's nothing I'm really too interested in um, I might want to do like uh, some steam stuff some mirroring to get some newer double driving games on there but it would have to mirror from this arcade which has a PC in it and um, I don't know, is it worth it to have it on over there just to play it over here? Maybe, something to think about. All right, so I scrolled down and I see right here, written instructions, programming mode, backing up and flashing. So let's go over there. Let's click on that. And we have step one, click the install drivers button. Oh, so first I have to unzip the 
the file I downloaded, so let's do that. I tried to do it with 7-Zip, but it was giving me some issues. I used 7-Zip about a billion times, but never on this PC, so I don't know why. So I just downloaded the installer. I clicked on install drivers. The RK driver assistant window opened up, like the instructions said it would. Now I'm gonna click that and So we got this window and it set in the instructions to uncheck always trust and then we can install install driver okay all right now it says we're going to do this we're going to put it into programming mode we're going to hold the go for broke button and press the mystery button one time Let's open this up. So I followed the instructions, I clicked those buttons and I pressed backup board. And now it's doing its thing, backing up. And this is what I have going on on the screen. So that looks kind of iffy, but let's see what happens. So it's been taking a while, but we're That partition 19 of 19 sent the instructions that this one would take the longest, so let's see. So now we're flashing the board. So last night I did the backup and it took, I don't know, maybe like five hours. So I kind of fell asleep. I did fall asleep and I turned it off. After it was done, I woke up, turned it off. And when I started again this morning, um, I clicked on the mystery interstellar app and it basically started from nothing like I had nothing done and it was only because I wasn't in program mode so I put it back into program mode which is uh, holding down right here just follow instructions and putting it back in holding down the mystery button and pressing the go for broke once until we hear that sound and then the proper window appeared again and I clicked on flash and it's starting to flash the board. So it says this takes about 20, 30 minutes. Let's see, um, let's see um, that happening and then we'll come back in 20, 30 minutes. Okay, so that's done and it was pretty quick actually. And we got the message that we wanna see, which is this one, if no error is displayed above, we can assume things were installed successfully. You can now load the games. Press the mystery button to reset the cabinet and boot into the stock OS. So let's do that. So I wanted to tell you guys about all the errors and a few glitches that I experienced. Overall, the process is pretty simple. I didn't even watch any videos. I took a quick glimpse at some of them um, but basically I followed the instructions that they had step by step on uh, the two websites. They were very clear. Um, it's easy to follow because you can just go back to, to the instructions to check, make sure you didn't miss anything. It's right there in front of you in writing. But, you know, the first issue was when I was doing the backup, um, you know, and this stuff takes a while. It was going on for a while and then I got that hashtag issue, the hashtag um, warning or, uh, or error. And, um, so I definitely recommend signing up to the mystery encoder, um, discord because, uh, some great guys really helped me on there, gave me a little advice and you can kind of read through the whole group too, and maybe find your problem. But basically with the hashtag, they just said press OK and move on. No big deal. So I moved on and right around step 19 of the backup is a very long step, um, even hours. So after it was downloading for a few hours, got to about 40%, I received another error and that error was a size mismatch. And basically you click OK and that's it. It's over. Um, it failed. So I thought that you know, okay, what do I need to do? I need to troubleshoot, need to do a bunch of things. And then the guys over there told me, you know what, just try again. Um, one dude told me that he did it three times before it finally took. So it sounded fishy to me, but 
I was like, what can I do? I'll press the button again and try. And, you know, four hours later, five hours later, I don't know if it failed or not. So I pressed it again. Um, got that same hashtag error, pressed OK. This time when it went to 19, you know, it went on for about three, four hours. But, you know, lo and behold, it was at 99% done. I was watching it, hoping it would finish. And boom, it did. 100% done. So that was done. Then I went over to flashboard and i think i went over some of that with you guys it flashed fairly quickly it said the instructions that it would take 20 to 30 minutes it took 20 minutes it flashed everything looked good but we got to the screen where it said press the mystery button and that was my last video i pressed it and it went into os mode um and uh you know it restarted and uh, nothing changed on the screen. This number four push arcade games was still grayed out. And that basically means that I couldn't push any games. So either the board didn't flash or, or something wasn't communicating. So basically the instructions, it said, you know, if your board doesn't flash, if there's an error, you can try it again. So I tried it again, and when you try it again, it basically just goes through. It, it it won't load again. It won't flash it again for 30 minutes. It just goes through some wording here, and it's basically done, still grayed out. I tried it again, tried it again, and I was like, okay, I'm definitely doing something wrong. I better stop trying it. You know, I pressed the button to reset it a few times, and, uh, you know, I talked to some guys on Discord, and they were just like, just power off restarted and i said okay i already tried that it didn't work so this went on for about five six hours i was really annoyed getting discouraged thinking you know what it might just not like my pc that has happened i think with different mods different things before and i don't this is a mini pc that it was easy for me to pull over and do this i don't have another pc that i could do that with i could have dragged this arcade across the room but it's connected to all my lighting and everything so real pain in the ass and remember, I'm only trying to put three, four games on here and then I'm done with this project. So I questioned myself, should I just give up? I said, you know what, let me go home, try a few more things I didn't try. I thought I tried everything, but there's always, you know, a different little thing or something you forgot. So I asked myself, what problems do I usually have with these things? Or what problems have I had before? Well, this problem was I did power off again. This time when I powered off, I disconnected the USB cable. Then I powered the arcade back on. Then I changed the port of my, uh, the port that I was using in my computer. Right when I did that, I hear the sound. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, that's the connect sound. I opened up the Mystery Interstellar Arcadian app and number four, not grayed out anymore. Push i arcade games so awesome it worked why did it work probably it didn't like that usb even though it was communicating the whole way with that usb port for some reason overnight or you know whenever i turned it off it didn't like that port anymore so that's happened if you have experience with pcs this stuff happens with these ports for whatever reason sometimes something's working and then suddenly it starts it doesn't like that port anymore you have to check your internet router or put it in a different port and that shit definitely happens. So, um, yeah, on to the next step. APK ROM configurator. So this step is definitely covered pretty well in the instructions. But just to make it completely clear, what I did, and it worked right here, games file. I basically first download your ROM. Um, then iGames file, name it. Create new iGame file. And when you do that, just name it. That's it. That's all I needed to do. Then here, ROM should be in a zip for MAME. Android should be APK. Okay, okay, set ROM APK file. When you click that button, then you'll search for your ROM. You'll find it. Click on it. Open. Boom. That'll be a ROM right there. Then right here, images default. So this is for the background um, for the you know table of contents or whatever. Um, so basically what I did was just went on Google found some images that I liked, downloaded them, and boom, put it right there. 
This one is the image, uh, I'm sorry, that's, so that's background image right there. This one instruction image is for on the IR arcade where when it loads, you have that diagram of all the buttons and then uh, you can label them. So this was the first time I did it. I wasn't sure what each button did or if it would even work. So I skipped that part. Um, I guess if you're getting files from uh, finished files already, then it'll already be there. So you can just do that, but no big deal. I, I skipped that part, I didn't have it, I don't need it, I don't care. So right here, category. If you do not change that category, it will create a new category called Interstellar Loaded. If you don't want that, then look at your categories. And if you want sports or action, write that in there. I actually spelled sports with a lowercase and it created a new sports section. So, but then the next time I powered off, it kind of brought brought it back to the regular sports section, the ROM. So I don't know what the hell happened, but it had a little mismatch with uh, lowercase, uppercase lettering. So just, if you want to do it correctly the first time, just uh, do the uppercase or just double check the way it's written on your iArcade. Um, the name, that's the name of the app that you named. Spell it right because that's how it'll appear. And uh, that's it. Everything else leave for now. I don't know if there's uh, if there'd be any point to put in a different joystick type, but uh, for now I just did eight-way games, left eight-way. I don't think it would turn your joystick into a four-way if you press four-way. I don't know. So just leave that click. Configure inputs. Um, so there are a couple of guys out there who did individual configuration files for different games that needed it that did not follow the standard configurations. Many, many do. You can go on Discord and talk to those guys and they'll help you out. But basically for many standard main games, two button to six button games that use a joystick, all you have to do is press this button, save, input, config, and then you'll move to the next step. I have it grayed out now because I disconnected it, but it won't be grayed out. Push I arcade game. And then you'll look at your screen. It'll take like literally one second you'll get like a notification that everything went well and it'll give you, and you'll see this on their instructions. It'll say A, okay, B, cancel, C, delete. Never press C. So once I screwed up and I press D, cancel, it just canceled it, no problem. Um, you just press A, it takes two, three seconds to load and you're done. Power off, power back on, and your game will be there. Ta-da.